Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha! Today I have another Marvel Legends review for you. We have some new figures from the MCU. So, from Avengers Endgame, we have a new Build-A-Figure line of the Hulk. And real quick, I'll just show you all the figures in this line right here. So from Avengers Endgame, we have War Machine, we have Rescue, so Pepper Potts in the suit. Um, so spoilers, I guess, for Endgame, but it's been a, been out a while now. Uh, we finally have a Shuri figure, which is so cool. Very excited about it. And then you have four other random characters not from the MCU. You got Rock Python, Union Jack, Beta Ray Bill, and Loki. Um, I really didn't care about building this Build-A-Figure Hulk. I have a couple of different Hulks, and yeah, this one's a little bit different, right? But I just, I didn't need the whole thing, and I have to get four extra figures I didn't need. I just wanted the three from the MCU. So that's exactly what I got. So here they are, here's Rescue, Shuri, and War Machine. Uh, and then, I picked this up because Target has this, I believe this is a Target exclusive, and it's Captain Marvel in the Star Force. So this is her full-on Star Force suit, and it looks pretty cool. So I said, you know what? Let me pick this up as well, and rather than do a separate video of this, I figured I'd just kind of bundle it all together because you have, um, you know, a great set of characters right here. So let's take a quick look at the packaging before we jump in. So with these figures here, obviously um, Rescue and War Machine are from Avengers Endgame, so they're not really putting Avengers Endgame on any packaging, I guess because they didn't announce the title and so like for a while, and I guess the packaging was already done before then, and so I don't know, whatever. Um, and they're calling it Marvel's Rescue and Marvel's War Machine for copyright reasons. And then you have Shuri from Black Panther as well. So um, on the side of the Rescue uh, packaging, you have the suit, which looks pretty cool. And then the back right there, so you can pause the video and read it if you would like, but uh, it's Pepper Potts right here. Really cool looking suit, um, and so I'm, I'm glad that we got a figure of it because it definitely looks pretty great. And if you are doing the build a figure, the Hulk body is right there, so that you got a, a main piece right there. Then we have Shuri, which I am so happy they finally made. Look at that artwork, um, or that, is that a promo? No, that's artwork, I think. Um, but looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad they made a Shuri figure because Shuri is fantastic. Now this looks like, is it artwork or is it a picture? I think it's a, hmm, I think it's, I can't tell. I think it's artwork, it, um, but it looks just like her. Um, so really, really cool. Definitely excited about Shuri. And then we have War Machine, sort of the souped up look for War Machine right here, as seen on the, the side of the packaging and on the back right there. So uh, really, really cool. I, I like it. I think War Machine, uh, obviously, you know, he, there's some versions of War Machine that looked very similar to Iron Man, just like silver, uh, which is not bad. But like, I like the bigger, bulkier look because it really differentiates him a little bit more. So that's pretty cool. And then here's the Captain Marvel version. There's no Build-A-Figure here because this was just a standalone Target exclusive release. Uh, the cool thing about this though, right? So, um, well, I'll just show you the back of the box real quick. So there you go. Um, pretty cool suit. I, I, I think the green um, is, is a nice color here and it definitely looks pretty nice. But they actually have, not only do they have a Carol, um, Carol Danvers head, but they have a Minerva head, right? Is that Minerva? I think it is. Um, and so essentially, because the Star Force uniform was the same amongst all the people in the Star Force, uh, you got the female body here, you can just swap out Minerva, and there you go. So I like that trend. They've done it a couple times uh, for, for some other Marvel Legends releases, and I think that's a great idea, so you don't have to buy another figure of Minerva if it's the exact same one. You just swap out the head. And there you go. Unless you want both, then obviously you're going to have to buy two. Um, but it's, a, it's still a pretty cool idea. I, I definitely appreciate that. So there you have it. All right. So enough talking. Without further ado, let's get these open and take a look. All right. Here they are out of the packaging. So let's take a look at these. So uh, let's start with the Avengers figures here. So we're going to move Captain Marvel out of the way. Let's just start left to right. So we're starting with the rescue figure. Uh, by the way, Here's the Hulk piece that comes with Rescue. Um, again, I'm not collecting all of them, but you know, scope-wise, like in case you haven't seen the Hulk figures before, you wanna know the size, there it is. This is the piece that comes with Shuri. War Machine actually doesn't come with a piece, but essentially, you know, you attach it on and you can see obviously the size of the Hulk, pretty big, um, and in line with 
other releases of the Hulk from the past. So just move those away. All right, Hera's Rescue. Let's take an up close look at the figure here. Um, it's pretty cool looking. I definitely dig the design, this purple look. It's got a nice shiny um, paint here, the sort of gold and light blue uh, accents and a little bit of silver. It really adds a nice touch to this. So I think it's a really cool looking suit. And as you can see, I mean, they added good amounts of, of detail here. So I think they definitely did it justice. Um, and also, the cool thing about it as well is if you actually uh, are to, like, zoom in on the arm, even little things like it says Stark Industries right there, right? Same on the other side right here, Stark Industries going across. So that's, that's pretty cool. I, I, I like those little, little touches, you know? Uh, this back piece is actually detachable, so this is how it was in the packaging. Uh, and the idea is you have two different back pieces. So you have sort of this flat one um, that attaches on, and it says Rescue 0049, so you have, you know, that one right there. Um, and it looks pretty cool, definitely. But you also have the alternate version, which is, it's sort of opened up right here which I, I think was like when she's flying around and stuff. So this can attach on as well, like so. And that's pretty cool. I, I think I like, I, I mean, it depends on which, which pose that you have it in. You know, like I think this, it looks fine with it closed, but then if you also want a more dynamic pose, like flying or doing something, then, then you have that as well. So definitely pretty sweet. And real quick, um, I want to bring in Iron Man for a little comparison here. So this is just one of the Iron Man figures that I that I grabbed. Um, obviously, you can see the the design similarities. So uh, I, I like what they did with it. You know, it's 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 very similar to an Iron Man suit, but um, but I think the purple really differentiates it a bit. Uh, maybe Iron Man in Iron Man 3, maybe he had a purple color too, because he had so many different kinds, I don't know. But, uh, it's pretty sweet. I like it. So there you go. That is, uh, Rescue, right here. Um, but also, I want to see if I can grab my Pepper Potts head that did not come with this, but it came with a previous release as part of the Marvel Studios' first 10 years. So let me see if I can grab that real quick. All right, so here is the uh, Pepper Potts that was a part of that Iron Man 3 set right here. Uh, so kind of foreshadowing, foreshadowing, right? That you had the arm piece right here and eventually becoming Rescue. But the cool thing about Marvel Legends uh, that, that I think is pretty great is that you can uh, mix and match, right? So uh, what I can do is I can pop off the head here and even come up with combinations that don't make sense. Uh, but at least in this case here, uh, now the only thing is, is the backpack gonna get in the way? Let's let's take that off for now, just to just to get the head on and see. Well, okay. <laughs> Sometimes the the mixing and matching doesn't exactly work. Her neck just looks super long here. It's not really designed for another head, uh, as you can see here. So that's actually kind of freaky, and I'm getting a little scared. So I'm gonna take that off. Uh, you know, but hey, right? Like, it was a, a nice try. I thought, why not see what, what it looks like? And, uh, now I know. So, uh, there you go. There's Rescue. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one here. Let's bring in Shuri, uh, which I'm very excited to finally have a figure of here. And, again, they did a, a great job at capturing so much of the detail of the figure. I mean, if you just, like, look... Like, man, look at that. All the little dots. And and they, they really captured um, the likeness of the character as well. I mean, that just looks so much like her. Great detail all around. Pretty sweet. These little pieces here. 
She's got her, her stylish shoes as well, of course, right? Like, gotta have that. So yeah, looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. So um, essentially what, what you can do is, oh actually I didn't show articulation for rescue. So my bad, let me jump back real quick and show articulation. Uh, so head rotates, moves up and down, arm rotates around, you have some movement upwards like that. Um, the This whole piece right here rotates, okay double joint at the elbow right there. Um, and then you have the hand that rotates and also moves in and out. So good amount of range there. Uh, this entire um, upper body piece here rotates and moves around. Um, this bottom piece does not rotate or anything. This is all one solid piece, uh, but you do have some leg movement forward. Uh, sideways a little bit, but because these are kind of vertical here, it's, it's a little harder. Um, you do have double joint at the knee, um, and then the, uh, the feet do move up and down and also rotate sideways and around just like other Marvel Legends figures. So, pretty decent. So, going back to Shuri here, head movement, right, rotation. The arms rotate and also move upwards, okay. Uh, the this bottom part of the arm rotates uh, and then also bends in and out and actually if I take this off uh, you have the hand right here which does rotate and move in and out as well so you do have that uh, this entire upper body piece rotates um, and then so this piece right here is a little bit I mean it, it's it's tough but you know um, it, it can slightly wiggle around, but essentially that's because you have this opening here, like the front part is more open, the legs can still pretty much move, you know, as much as you would really need it to. Uh, you do have rotation here, double joint, and then the feet also do the, the up and down and uh, swivel kind of thing. Um, although you gotta be careful because apparently I'm already breaking this one a little bit. Some of the, the joints are a little tight, so you just you just gotta be real tricky with, uh, with how you do these. Uh, these little gauntlet things also do come off, um, so you do have that option as well. So there she is without them. And uh, as you can see, this effect piece is like permanently attached on, and it just kinda looks like it's firing. So these sort of just and there's not really a peg, but it sort of uh, clips into here, sort of, uh, just like that. Okay. And there you go. So yeah, I think it looks really cool. Again, you can have her really doing these dynamic action poses and and really, really get things going. I think the, the limitation that you're going to have with some of these Marvel Legends figures, like especially someone like Shuri, is that she doesn't stand up very well. Like... This this body here with all these movements kind of goes down to these tiny feet and they're also kind of slightly bent a little. You have to like rotate it and, and really get it to be a, a good flat fit and so it just becomes really tricky. So if you have some sort of like a stand or something to like really get her to stick, then you can get some great poses. Otherwise it just becomes real tricky to get her to stand properly, you know? So that that's the one downside with some of these Marvel Legends. But there you go, that's Shuri. So on to War Machine right here, who looks really cool. So let's take an up close look. So he came with three cannon pieces detached. So this piece actually you had to attach on. And then also there's two pieces on the arms that I'll show you as well, but pretty cool. Some insignias and everything on there. I mean, it just, it looks like tough, you know? They really captured the uh, the essence of this this armor. It just looks heavy duty, and it's got a bit more heft and weight to it too, you know, because it is a bigger one. Uh, and then the this uh, little gun piece was the one I was talking about that sort of attaches on on both sides, so it just came off like that. Okay, there's the back as well. So, yeah. Pretty good 
detail. I think he looks really cool. So uh, in terms of articulation, so the head is going to be able to, to move left and right. Um, the arms do rotate around. Uh, they don't really move upwards too much because this sort of shoulder piece, you know, prohibits movement there. Um, and then the, it does bend at the elbow. Um, there's no, like, um, uh, actually, hold on, I lied. I was about to say there's no rotation, but this actually, this whole arm piece does rotate. So this is a little flexible, so that's kind of nice. Um, and then the hand does rotate as well. So I'll come back to this gun piece since it fell off. Then you do have this entire upper body that rotates around, uh, leg movement, back a decent amount too. There you go. Um, you have bending right there at the knee, but it's a little stiff, so again, gotta be wary of, of putting too much stress on that thing. Um, and this whole thing can technically rotate around on the joint there as well. Uh, the feet also do the standard sort of swivel and up and down movement, but it is inhibited a little bit by the, this, this layer at the bottom of, of the leg here. Okay. Um, so the other thing that uh, you can kind of do, um, at least in one hand here, is you can sort of have them hold the blaster, if you would like. Um, I don't know if it's really meant for that specifically. I guess technically you could. So, you know, if, if, if you wanted to do something like that, you could. But really, I think it's meant more so. And, and this is a closed fist here, so you can't, you can't dual wield them. So I don't think it's necessarily meant for that, but I just wanted to show, you know, what's possible. Um, oh, and then also this thing, you know, can move left and right. It doesn't really move up or down because it just comes off, but you can rotate it a little bit. So, you know, depending on what, what he's doing. But uh, yeah, pretty cool looking figure. I definitely think uh, if you're a fan of War Machine, you'll you'll dig this one. All right, so then we have Captain Marvel here. So we're out of the Avengers line, and now this is the uh, Target exclusive Captain Marvel from the Star Force. And uh, pretty great looking figure here. I think the the main highlight is going to be the the paint job. And you got a nice shiny green. And essentially. This is a repaint of an existing figure. And I'm gonna bring in the existing figure right here. In fact, I should actually, um, this is from the Captain Marvel toy line. Um, and I'm actually gonna pop this off and attach on this headpiece here. And then you'll see even more so why it's a, uh, a full repaint. Because, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so um, if you have this Captain Marvel figure and you like it, you know exactly what to expect here. Uh, just a different different paint job. So obviously if you, if you watch the Captain Marvel movie, you saw she can just adjust the colors at will, which is kind of a neat little thing. Um, but these being the two main suits that she had in the movie. So now you have both options. Um, and so real quick then, because... I've, I've done a review of that Captain Marvel figure before. You do have movement there, arms. Um, also, can move up a decent amount because the shoulder pads are a little flexible. Uh, you do have uh, elbow movement. This whole bottom piece rotates. Hand movement up and down as well. Uh, this whole upper body rotates and swivels. Uh, leg movement. Rotation. Double joint at knee. And then the feet do their thing up and down and swivel. So there you go. There's Captain Marvel in the Star Force. So she also comes with an alternate head, which looks like that. And the Captain Marvel figure from before came with an alternate head. And guess, guess, guess where I'm going with this. That's right. It's the same. <laughs> so again, they literally took the same Captain Marvel figure. There it is. But now you're going to get some extra stuff to also turn this into Minerva. So you have different sets. But Captain Marvel herself is the same. 
So you get a couple of other accessories uh, included in here. And I should mention actually, um, oh no, never mind. This goes with the other character. So never mind. Okay. So let's bring in these other accessories that are included in this set. So I'm going to plop off the head. And I think there's not really any pictures or anything. So I hope I'm doing this right, but we're just going to try. So I'm going to attach that piece on. I think this is supposed to go on as well. So maybe if I do this, maybe that'll be right. Something like that. Um, and then we're going to attach on the Minerva head. Okay. We're going to change out the hands here. Okay. And change out this one as well. Okay. And then we're going to have her hold the blaster. If I can get it to fit in here, maybe. A little tricky, but I think we can do it. It's got to like bend the fingers open a little, and it is a, a weirdly shaped blaster, too. So it's <laughs> I didn't make it super easy. Oh, let's get this finger in here. All right, there we go. So we now have, I believe it's Minerva, I hope it is, or I've been saying it wrong. And it almost looks like a different figure. A few little accessories really add to the look. So obviously you still have the base core layer right there, right? The main suit. But now you have this sort of added um, uh, sash right on here. You have like this, this scarf sort of thing. Here's the face right here, which is very interesting looking. The, the blue hair and everything, All right? And then she's got the, the blaster. And so the, you swap out the hands, and the reason why these hands don't necessarily work with Captain Marvel is obviously she has human fingers, and she has blue ones right here, Cree, Cree fingers. So, um, so these alternate open hands are really meant for Minerva here. And uh, she's got this blaster and everything to go with it too. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. And so now, if you get this figure, right, now I have Captain Marvel and Minerva right here. Um, and I can swap and, of course, turn her into the Star Force version of Captain Marvel. Um, but I guess, I don't know how many people would have bought a Minerva figure. So I, in a way, it's kind of smart of them to sell it as a Captain Marvel Star Force figure. But by the way, you can also turn it into Minerva. So that's actually pretty smart. And I like that. I think it's great to have those options. So... There you have it. Those are the, the four figures in this review. So these three are the latest in the, the Avengers wave of figures. Uh, if you're looking for the Build-A-Figure, it's Hulk. You can get the other ones, but these are the ones from the MCU. And I think they're all really cool. I, I, I would recommend all of these. Uh, if I had to pick one uh, favorite, I just, Shuri. I'm so happy that they made a Marvel Legends figure of Shuri. So uh, long overdue, and, and I definitely recommend picking it up. I, I do have my gripes with the not being able to stand properly, but just the fact that we have Shuri in a Marvel Legends figure, I'm very, very happy about that. Um, but then also, if you're a fan of Captain Marvel, Minerva I think is a great value because, like I said, you can swap back and forth between Captain Marvel with or Karen, Carol Danvers and uh, Minerva here. So, pretty cool. So, that's that. I have a lot more Marvel Legends reviews on the way, so stay tuned. I'm very excited about it. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought as well. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later.